Link 2012. Welcome to my Burnout Fantasy Emerald Guide. Obtaining the emeralds and CTM maps can be very, very tricky at times. I know in this map with one I struggled so badly, I flew around half an hour in spectator mode, couldn't find the emerald, then I had to create a separate world where I literally delete every block around me besides the ones in the emerald monument. So, <laughs> this should be able to help anybody that needs it. Feel free to look at the video description or the pinned comment in order to see the timestamps for each individual emerald. There are major spoilers ahead, just a heads up. So, only view the emeralds that are relevant to you. Um, now, if you want to see the order of the emeralds, you can also check, or the em order of the areas, you can also see that in the video description based off the order of the emeralds. And you can see a full list of where each emerald might be located right here. So in case you haven't unlocked all those advancements yet, you can kind of get a general overview of which area each of these emeralds are in. Without further ado, let's get into the emerald guide. The hint for the first emerald is hidden along the dusty road. As you're starting out, you should be able to see the emerald monument right up here. Simply climb up this area using uh, gravel and sand you find along the way and you should be greeted with emerald number one. The hint for the second emerald is do you like giant broccoli? As you're following this path you'll find this massive tree along the way. Go ahead and sneak around behind it and enter it from behind or you can just break in. Now climb to the top of this tree and your emerald should be waiting for you at the very top. Give it a minute, it's a, it's a bit of a climb. All right, here you go. And you get some melons and blackstone to boot. The hint for the third emerald is behind the bubbling cascade. Make your way over here, right across from the monument and build your way up to this island. Then you'll come to this lava fall right here. Be very careful as there's skeletons behind that will shoot you. But as soon as you make your way in, you will have access to the third emerald. The hint for the fourth emerald is sitting in his big brother's shadow. So make your way down towards this area of the map and go ahead and take a look over here. So you this on this island is where the emerald is. You're going to have to bridge over to it. Now be very careful in doing so because there's many creeper spawners here. However, once you're on this island, you should be able to make your way around and the fourth emerald is inside of this chest. The hint for the next emerald is, I hope you brought a shovel. So this emerald, if you make your way down the monument on this side and then come over here, you'll notice a very suspicious wall of gravel. You go ahead and mine through it. And inside of this cave, you should have access to the fifth emerald. The hit for the sixth emerald is behind the ruined mines, or something along those lines. Now you can get this emerald in one of two ways. Number one, if you follow this path, you can look across and you should see it right over there. Now the other way you can obtain it is by following this path over here. And instead of going right to the canyon area, go ahead and take a left and you should have access to the emerald right over here. The next hint for emerald number seven is hardcore parkour underneath the cliffs. So what you're gonna wanna do is from the entrance, go ahead and make your way around and come down here. Now you can use the weeping vines if you wanna climb a little bit higher and make your way down from there. Now there's a parkour course right over here you can try to do it on your own, so little zombies in my way, or you can just build over like I did to cheese it, and you should have access to emerald number seven. The hint for emerald number eight is Canyon Crasher, which isn't necessarily the most helpful from this area right here. But what you can do is basically make your way down to any of these paths along the bottom and make your way to the end of them. So as you travel your way along, you're gonna go through this massive area right here, navigate this little maze, and once you get to the end of it, just walk across the pathway, and it should be right up here, hidden above the passage. Emerald number eight. The hint for Emerald nine is swiggity swoogity. So make your way to the giant sphinx in the desert right here, and come over to his booty. 
and then you'll see some pieces of sandstone that don't quite match. Go ahead and mine through those, get jeered out by some weird eyes, and you have access to emerald number nine. So the hint for emerald number 10 is hidden around the corner of the world. So go ahead and make your way to this side of the map over here. You can also make your way through the mountain um, via the passage. It's gonna be on our left up coming over here. Go ahead and make your way past this village and it should just be around the corner right here on the very edge of the world. Emerald number 11 is Mummy's Map of Riches. Once you make your way down into the mummy, go ahead and take a, le a left and mine into this grave here. You should get access to a treasure map. Now, if you have access to this treasure map, it should be fairly easy to find the treasure, but if you're struggling, I'll go ahead and show you where it is right now. So if you go ahead, you mine under this cactus right here, you should have access to the 11th emerald. Emerald number 12, the hint is watching over, and you can get this several ways. The first way is by making your way here and then climbing up or building up this tower right here, you should be able to find it at the top, emerald number 12. The other way is to access it from the previous area right here, or one of the previous areas. Go ahead and climb up to the top from that area and go ahead and grab the emerald while you're at it. The next emerald's a bit trickier. The hint is peaky peaky from the towers. So make your way to the end of the rail over here and make your way down a few of these levels in this tower. And then go ahead and peeky peeky through this hole to see your emerald. Go ahead and bridge over and you will have access to emerald number 13. The hint for emerald number 14 is give me a canvas, let me paint that bleep. Go ahead and take your strider and make your way over to this lovely area right here. As soon as you reach the inside, you should notice some carpet in a familiar look. Go ahead and build, break your way in for emerald number 14. The hint for emerald number 15 is tethered to the trunk of a tree. Go ahead and make your way to this final section right here. Now, as you observe the different pillars, you'll notice one stands out with some emeralds on it. Go ahead and make your way to the base of this pillar and mine in to access emerald number 15. Emerald number 16 is I support this one. Go ahead and from the Colosseum, make your way down this bridge and down to this section right here. Now from here, you're gonna want to make your way onto this platform below you. Be careful as there's plenty of creeper spawners. However, once you get to the middle here, Go ahead and mine in and you have access to emerald number 16. Emerald number 17 is a bit easier. The hint is like the Roman emperor. Go ahead and make your way into the Colosseum and move up to the very top. It should be obscured behind these pillars right over here. You'll have access to emerald number 17. The hint for emerald number 18 is I was mining and all I found was this green gem. There's a couple different ways to go about getting this, but all of them involve getting down to these pathways below the map. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is follow these pathways once you get to this point and go ahead and climb the ledges around here to make your way to this last passageway over here. From here, you can make your way into this room and grab yourself emerald number 18. Emerald number 19 gave me the most trouble, but it's actually not too shabby. Make your way to this pretty much final island on the map and go ahead and climb under this area right here. Now, if you take a look to your right, you should see a little slit in the wall. Go ahead and break through and you have emerald number 19. The hint for emerald number 20 is Blossom Climber's map to riches. So go ahead and make your way to this island right up here, kind of in the center of the map and go ahead and grab yourself treasure map two. Now this, there should be an X on the map that leads you to the treasure. If you're ha having trouble finding it, I'll give you a second, but I'm gonna show you it right now. All right, so emerald number 20 should be located right under these vines where the X is because the X marks the spot for emerald number 20. 
So the 21st Emerald is rocked the boat a bit too much, and you can see a boat right over here that's a little bit slanted. So what you can do is you can actually see it from this area over here, just in this little gap. But for those of you actually playing the map, just go ahead, make your way into the ship, and it should be right over here. The hit for Emerald number 22 is Dead Giveaway. So go ahead and make your way to this graveyard, uh, pretty much in the center of the map, and go ahead and look right under this grave, and you should have access to Emerald number 22. Emerald number 23 is under a green flag we shall sail. There's a ship right over here that you should access after getting the monument item. And go ahead and bridge your way over to here and make your way through the ship. As you're making your way through the ship, you should find this emerald looking rug right here. Go ahead and break in to get access to emerald number 23. Alternatively, you can also access it from the deck below by making your way around through this maze and it should be right back here. The hit for Emerald 24 is the spiders keep it to themselves. To find this one, follow this passageway along the bridge or make your way up from the bottom here. Now you should notice some spider webs hanging from the roof. Go ahead, make your way up and you will have access to Emerald number 24. The hint for Emerald 26 is this one's on the house. Now you might be thinking, oh, it must be in here, in the pub. Quite obvious. However, as the sign states in the pub, it isn't actually there. And in order to actually find this Emerald, you're gonna have to go way up high and right on top of this little building right here, you should have access to Emerald number 25. Emerald 26 can be a bit tricky to find as the Temple of the Sun is a very, very large area. However, it's actually right off the start. If you make your way down, you can actually see the emerald right inside of this area right over here. You could also bridge directly from the lava right over there. Go ahead and break your way in, and you will have access to emerald number 26. Emerald number 27 is walking in circles, and you can find this by simply bridging up to these areas right over here with all the little diamond blocks and other goodies. If you make your way to the end and break through this wall, or you just come around from the other direction, you will have access to emerald number 27. All right, that should be all from me, guys. If you have any questions about these emeralds, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I know it can be very difficult to find the emeralds in this map, so I really wanted to make this guide for you guys here today. Until next time, don't forget to contribute, make the most of your day.